Season 13 of Always Sunny in Philadelphia. They're still plugging away. I love that Always Sunny is still around and still killing it in Philly. This show, I really, really enjoyed this show. I started watching like halfway through when they were like season five or season six and I had to go all the way back and it's just, these people suck. <laughs> but they're funny and I like to see the uh, the antics that they get into, especially Charlie. I think Charlie is uh, one of my favorite characters in this show and he's just so dumb, but I love him. Yeah, I mean, it's truly really showcasing that it is always in Philadelphia. What, season 13, if I'm not mistaken? Yeah. Yeah, my god, that's, that's an incredible run for a show where pretty much everyone is a douchebag. <laughs> yeah. But uh, at the same time, I think they do a really good job of like, writing to the point where like, you want to hang out with them and you want to you know, see what crazy stuff they get into next. I can't imagine what they got in store for season 13. Um, it's so quotable, too. Oh, I know. So. Constantly, we're quoting Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Tell me, push you. <laughs> You're out of the game. <laughs> so we are going to watch the trailer for season 13 of Always Sunny in Philadelphia, which starts soon now. What is sexual harassment? Who's ready to party? Tanta, oh God! Tanta, tanta, tanta. <laughs> <laughs> you don't really have any history of misbehavior at Patty's Pub. <laughs> Just pop it in. This is fun. Oh! I'm using lemon juice to <laughs> <my Jesus. laughs> close up the wound. <laughs> Holy oh. shit! <laughs> okay, everybody, are you ready? Oh, Dennis? Did you yeah. get a sex doll of your old roommate? Hey! I'm super sap, and you said I needed something Dennis shaped to fill my hole. Or is that what men want you to believe? <laughs> Do your job as you would normally, and I will jump in if you cross over into sexual harassment. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Why did you do that? She came at me, and that was sort of my instinct. That was amazing. <laughs> Dude, September Mac is swole. Yeah, like watching this, you really appreciate just how much like uh, I can't. Rob McElhenney has like yeah. worked at like getting back in shape. I, I, I know. He's gone from yeah. opposite ends of the spectrum back to the other. He's, yeah. he's like TV's Christian Bale. Yeah. Basically, yeah. <laughs> Proven that he can actually pull it off, too, because he is that part where his shirt opened up and he's just freaking muscular. Yeah. I have a feeling, too, because he's going to work so hard at it, like they're going to do what they did with Fat Mac and just like belittle him, even though he's like a freaking beast now. Now, this one, though, didn't see Dennis anywhere in the trailer. Because I know they were talking about how Dennis could possibly not be in it because he had that new show that yeah, he was working he, uh, on. Yeah, Glenn Harrington's on AP Bio, which I think I think got canceled, if I'm not mistaken. So he might, he might free him up to come back. I know The Mick got canceled as well. The so. Mick did get canceled, so which is why Caitlin Olsen is still here. Wasn't it, I, don't, I don't know if it was mistaken, but didn't Glenn say that he didn't want to play the Dennis character anymore and that's why he kind of left? It, it could be. It, it could be. I would be surprised if that was I the mean, reason. Yeah. And they said, though, the creators, or well, the creators, um, they came out <laughs> and said that Dennis was going to be basically in every episode. I'm wondering if this is what they mean, that he's basically going to be in every episode because he's Max's sex toy. And that's kind of a way to get Dennis in there. That kind of breaks my heart, though, if Dennis doesn't end up being there, um, or at least, you know, have him with some crazy story thread that brings him back, but he doesn't need to be there for every episode. Uh, okay, there is a one-time part in this trailer, too, where you see Charlie coming in as uh, <laughs> Kramer. Kramer, so I'm really looking forward to that one. I want to see what kind of antics they got on that one. And then The you're gang bringing... goes Seinfeld. Yeah, and then you're bringing back Artemis as well, and then you've got freaking uh, Rickety Cricket. Uh, we saw a guy recently, too, that I was like, that guy looks like Rickety Cricket. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to, all, I'm always looking forward to Always Sunny in, in Philadelphia. Philadelphia. So thank you so much for watching our reaction to the trailer for Always Sunny in Philadelphia 
season 13. What did you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. You can also like and subscribe. Do the thing on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Stardust. All the social networking gin joints, you know where they are. Kicking the party, fill the party, get the party, go your Patreon gets where you need to go. Thank you, Chance Ellison, for joining us once again. Never went anywhere from the last one. No, I did not. Where can people find you? Uh, like always, uh, Twitter, Instagram, Chance Wars underscore 91. Check out Full Metal Media, my personal channel, uh, Chance the Critic, and check out my podcast, uh, Notorious by Chance, wherever podcasts are found. And you can find that information in the description of this video. Also, check out our shirts and our wares available on our spread shirt. Thank you guys so much, and as always, now it's time to say goodbye. This party is over. Flip, 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 Philadelphia.